All right, 0 0.99 bullshit again, but you know, I turn it off at the same time, but you know, whatever. The pace is what we go for anyways. It tied for six minutes again. So we did pretty bad last time, 612. Not bad, but I kind of felt a little stronger today. I'll give you that. And uh, six minutes. Now, let's see this. 600, 600. That's what we like. Chart. That hill there. Now let's see the breakdowns. Because I was hearing all of this, right? Every quarter mile, it does get announced by time. I heard 128 on the first one, which isn't... I've done, I think I've done 124 on these, so, you know, but 128 was good. Now I did another 128, and then on that hill, 140 is what it used to be. 136 is good, and I'm like, well, wait a second. So, if I run really fast on that last one, you know, we had, because 130 is, is six minutes, if all of them were 130, right? So 128, 128 minus four plus six, if we do another minus two off the 130, then we get six minutes. And that's exactly it. So, that's good. We hit another tie-breaking six minutes. Now, I actually want to compare this to the last six minutes we had and see what the breakdowns are. I don't have that on hand, so we're gonna to have to take a screenshot. Okie doke. And, uh, oh, this is the screenshot derp. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back here. In fact, we really don't need a screenshot because I can keep that all in my head. It's 128 and 136 on the hill. Okay. So, running. So we got the, well, 616, 612 because the pace counts not the total workout, because it's, it's no. I think it's 601 right here. Let's look at that one. Right. Now, 128, 128, 133, fast hill, but then we slowed down, because we went probably really fast on the hill. So 132, but it's 128, 128, 136, 128 now. Same, it adds up to the same thing. So, now, here's the bullshit. So we're gonna zoom into the map. I said we're gonna zoom into the map. This is the uh, first six minute one, like a month ago or whatever. Let's zoom in. So, now, even this is bullshit because I always run to the intersection and then I press the button to turn it off. But even so, it only records it never records it all the way there, right? Fine. So this is the old one. And we didn't quite go all the way. You know? If we draw a perpendicular line, it it would go a little bit... Oh, hold on. We have a tool for that. Maybe. Uh, rush. Um, hello? We draw a map line. You see, it goes over the pool a little bit if we draw a perpendicular line, just so for our point of reference here. All right. Good. More amplified speakers and sound from a pool or something. Very obnoxious. Anyways. All right. Oh, I felt good. I felt good about this one. I didn't feel as sluggish. I had a little more energy in me. You know, sometimes it's weird because last time I got about 612 or 614 or whatever, 612 I think, you know, last week, it's not like I did anything different. I functionally eat the same thing and blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. You know, running is really good, even if I don't hit a perfect time. But today I did. Let's go over here so we're not directly on the road. So let me go see what the... Okay. okay. 
All right. So look at this bullshit. Even though I did keep running, you can obviously see we draw a straight line, which that is not. We draw a straight line. Yeah, it's a little lower down than that one. But again, I did the same thing. Okay. So it's a bit obnoxious, but I mean, they're kind of equal. And again, I care about the pace because sometimes you go a little over, sometimes you go a little under like that, and it's obnoxious. But here, because again, I press the button a second or two after it's, it announces to me, uh, lap done, one minute done, it announces it on the speakerphone, just like it does for every quarter of a mile. So I'm like, okay, I'll run a few more seconds to the intersection and press it off, and then it just, now if you run over, it will show that, but apparently not. Maybe you have to run a few more seconds over and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I think this was a good run. And, uh, oh, it's nice and windy. So, you know, I, I'm really looking forward to the fall, you know, and whatever winter we have, because again, it's gonna be like 30 degrees cooler. It's like 90. I think it went down to like 90 or something. It's pretty crazy, because it was like 95. And then it usually heats up in the afternoon, but for whatever reason, the temperatures went down. I don't know. You know, ooh, the grapes of last week are here too. They're way too high up though. You can see them here. But there's none within reach, unfortunately. Well, yeah, yeah. They're really high up, so that's a shame. Anyways, so this was a great run. Uh, we tied. Uh, the the all-time record, which was also the goal. So, I, again, it's like there's got to be some difference that it's not 100,000 degrees, you know, in November here. Because there's a little bit of shade. Like right here, you can kind of see shade because of the trees. You have similar circumstances on the side of the road, but it's, it's a full blast of sun, a little bit of shade, but it's a lot. So there's... Because the air temperature is always measured in the shade, so the fact that it's the winter, or the fact that it's the summer, it's like even hotter directly in the sun, right? And uh, I, I just really, yeah, I want to keep this up. And now, yesterday I had a long hike, you know, because I couldn't go sunbathing, and I ended up doing a nice long hike to the uh, little pond area and back. That's about an hour there, hour back. And I haven't done a long walk like that in a long time like a month or so. So, the fact that I did a long, brisk hike yesterday, and then I can still do a six-minute mile is pretty good. Anyways, there's a... Oh, look, there's a squirrel. Uh, oh, there is a squirrel resting. You can uh, you can see it right there. Yeah, I can't zoom in. Let's see how close we can get to Mr. Squirrel. He's... I eh, can't really see him. He's... Okay, he's on the tree now. Is he going to peek out at us? No, he doesn't want to play. But, so that was good. You know, I really like this. Um, and again, running is great. At some point, I'm going to have to incorporate sprints, maybe quarter mile sprints. I may have mentioned that before. You know, I, I kind of want to see because I'm more of a sprinter, I just want to see how that goes. So maybe sometime in the middle of next week. Today is a Sunday, I've been running Sunday every day. Maybe a Wednesday, depending on the weather. I'll come out here and, and try to do a quarter mile timed and see how fast I can run. Because that's just a little over a minute, and we'll see exactly how much, but running the mile, it's 128, 136, right? Especially if there's no hill. So, because again, the mile is kind of a mid-distance thing. It's not really a sprint. And since I've been more of a sprinter at swimming, I'm pretty sure, you know, I would do considerably faster, not just per lap, but even predict it off of that, because I'm just a sprinter. You know? but we'll see. We'll see how fast that is next week, maybe. 
So I guess that's it. I don't have much else to add.